Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the ornament mockup in PhotoP. First, go to photop.com in any web browser, p h o t o p e a.com. I'm using Google Chrome just because it worked a little faster than Safari for me. So, if you're having any trouble with your web browser, you might want to try Google Chrome. And once PhotoP is loaded, you can just double click Open from Computer and then find the mockup. And it's going to load for a few seconds. Um, once it does load, we're going to be working in this handy layers panel right here. So if you don't see the layers panel, go to Window, Layers to bring it up. Now to insert your design, you're going to want to click on this arrow in the ornament layer to expand that layer group. And then just double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash ornament layer. And don't worry if yours is a different shaped ornament. Um, they all work the same way. And this is going to open up a smart object where you're just going to copy and paste your design. So we're going to go to File, Open, and find the design. And it's going to load that for a couple seconds. And then we can go to Select All, then Edit, Copy, and click back on the Smart Object tab, and go to Edit, paste. And you may need to resize the design a little bit. To do that, hold down the shift key to keep it proportional. And then just click and drag any one of the four corners. I'm going to press command minus to zoom out. It's control minus on a PC if you want to zoom out. And then once you've got it sized, you can just go to File, Save Smart Object to save that. And it's just going to let us know the Smart Object is updated. And then we can click the X to close the Smart Object. And we can close the original graphics. And you'll see it put our design on the ornament just like that for us. If you need to, you can add some extra shading to the ornament. So there's this layer here that says more shading. Just click the eye icon next to it to turn it on. And then click on the more shading layer. And click the down arrow next to opacity. And you can make the contrast more intense or drag the slider to the left to make it more subtle. You can also change the color of the ornament by double clicking the thumbnail icon in the color dash ornament layer. And that'll open up a color picker. If you click anywhere in the rainbow slider, you can choose a color and then you can click in the gradiated box to change the lightness and darkness of that color. Or you can enter the color values if you know them. And then when you're good with that, click OK. You can also change the color of the ribbon in this mockup. To do that, just click the arrow next to ribbon. And then uh, double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash ribbon layer. And that's going to open up our color picker again. You can click in the rainbow slider and change it to any solid color you want. And there's also a little bit of a shadow underneath the ribbon to make it look realistic. And you'll see uh, if we click the arrow next to ribbon shadow, we have this. Uh, and if you click the arrow in the ribbon layer, it'll expand it. And you'll see we have this effect of a color overlay. If you click the eye icon next to effects, it'll turn on the color overlay. And then if you double click on the word color overlay, you'll see we're adding a little bit of a color cast to the shadow. So once the layer style box opens up, just double click on the swatch and you can hover over colors and make the color cast match the ribbon. Or you can enter color values if you know them.
um, I have this turned off by default, but if you wanted a color cast on your shadow here, you can turn this on. And that's all there is to editing the ornament mock-up in Photopea. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.